Eagles we are threatened to leave Lagos State. Fane Kayori reacts angrily to that statement. The past days have seen many things unfold in the country, from NSAS protests to alleged killing of protesters at Lake Togates to hoodlums, attack and looting. Earlier today, there was a trending video clip of someone threatening the southeasterner to vacate Lagos State. The threat drew numerous reactions from different parts of Nigeria with many people condemning the content of the video. Some of the prominent Nigerians mm -hmm. that have come out to condemn the threat is the former Nigerian Minister of Aviation, Chief Femi Fanekayode. Chief Fanekayode, in his message of social media, seemed angry as he threw his weight of South Easterner by saying that anyone that tells the Igbo or member of any other tribe to leave Lagos or anywhere else in the Southwest and that threatens them with violence is talking rubbish and is on their own. The former Nigerian minister said, I call on my Igbo brothers in Lagos and the Southwest to stand their ground, stand firm and stay where they are, the son of Odudua. And Odudua will stand by, by them. The Southwest is safe for all non indigenous. We are a peaceful, loving, liberal, kind, and accommodating people. We are not animals and dogs. We do not give our compatriots ultimatum, throw them out of our territory, or threaten them with violence. Chifeni Kayode spoke. Thank you for listening to this news. Um, Fanny Kayode. Well, um, you have spoken the truth anyway. Um, you see, Lagos State is to me is a normal's land. In as much as we have more of the Westerners in Lagos, it's a normal's land. Yes, you know, the Westerners are just claiming to be the true owner of Lagos State, but the truth is that. They are not the owner of Lagos State. Lagos State is owned by everybody. And if you are talking about the true owner of Lagos State, who actually made Lagos to be Lagos? If that person that is telling that Imoma to leave Lagos to the southeast, if that if the Igbo man decide to leave Lagos for him, can he survive it? Can he even survive a night with the Northerners in Lagos here? He will just die off. He's just making noise. That person is a lousy fellow, as far as I'm concerned. There is nothing he can show off. So, Fanika Ode doesn't need, wouldn't have even um, waste his strength challenging such a statement. Because to me, that statement is rubbish and can, doesn't, have, doesn't even hold water. You understand? Who, owns, like, who, 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 make, who made Lagos what Lagos is today? When Ojuku visited Lagos, what did he say to Ndigo? He bomb, he bomb blasted Ndigo. He blasted them. He said, look at, see, look, look at investments. He went to the, internet, to, 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 to the trade fair and saw what Nibu put up in trade fair and was so mad at them. Eh? The structures we have in Lagos State today, who are the owners of those structures? The investments we have today in Lagos, who are the owners of the investments? See, if case not taken, Indigo competes with the Chinese in investments in Lagos State as far as I'm concerned. Because Indigo have the highest investment and they have the highest building, the best and the highest buildings in Lagos State. They control Lagos. The GDP that the GDP of Lagos State is really 
higher than any higher than the GDP of any other state is as a result of the existence of Indigo in Lagos. Take Indigo out of Lagos, you end Lagos. So what are you saying? Kill and so. Uh, kill and so. So please, let's call it a spade, my dear, and stop bluffing. You understand? Let's stop bluffing. They all know. They all know. So they should stop deceiving themselves. For Nika Ode, you need not to worry yourself. They know already. They are here. You don't need to worry yourself. You don't need it. Because all these people are still, they, they are saboteurs. They are saboteurs. You understand? They are saboteurs. See, in fact, Indigo, to me, Indigo, Indigo are the, are the owner of Lagos states. Yes. Because they are the major, major business owners in Lagos. That reminds me of um, of um, one um, one uh, one man that said that uh, once Indigo had said had said to leave um, uh, had said to leave Nigeria to the southeast that he will be he will be he will also be he will also Follow Indigo to wherever Indigo are going. That he is ready to claim Biafra instead of instead of a, 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 a Lagos a Lagosian. Have you asked yourself why uh, the man has said that kind of a thing? Hmm? Have you do you, do you have you asked yourself the reason? See, the, ma the, the major employer of labor are Indigo. So, if you take Indigo out of Lagos, Lagos becomes a desert. Sorry to say. So, my viewers, without wasting much of your time, the truth is that he, Lagos is a no man's land. Alright? So, anyone that is claiming to be the owner of Lagos is actually deceiving himself. So, please, my viewers, I don't know what your comment concerning all that has just been said, my people. Please, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.